Welcome everybody. Today I'm going to begin a series of eight lessons on the eight palm changes from the Yin Fu style of Ba Gua Zhang that I learned from the late uh, Dr. Leon Kai Chi in Boston. Uh, I, I learned this set in 1979. Um, it's just been a really excellent Ba Gua set for learning footwork, stances, palm changes, um, and, and I actually think this is uh, quite a beautiful form. So each lesson I'll be doing um, instruction on the palm change. I'll give you some application ideas. And then I'll also be sharing one of, one of uh, some of the uh, Bagua sensitivities that I re received from uh, Grandmaster Wyland Choi. So with that, you can see the tree off, off to the side here. I'm just going to use that as like the partial center of my circle. So I'm going to begin with my heels together, toes at an angle. Basically, my left shoulder is into the center. My palms are facing me. I'm going to take a half step and swing my left palm forward about a 45 degree angle. My other palm is going to come up into a chamber position. I'm going to do that two times. So I'm going to do left hand, left foot, right hand, right foot. This is called uh, lean on the horse to inquire the way. Left hand, left foot, right hand, right foot. Then I'm gonna take a step with my left foot and pinch my toes and my knees. So my toes and my knees are going in. I still have my lower back, my, my uh, hips tucked under. When you've got your toes like that, that's called the character eight stance. That's how you, that's how you draw uh, in Chinese the, the character for the number eight. So I have my left hand, left foot, right hand, right foot. I'm gonna make that little step with my left foot. I'm gonna bring my right hand up and turn to the center. I'm gonna turn and look at the tree. My right hand is on top. That means I'm turning to the right. My right hand is over my left elbow. My left hand is under my right elbow. I'm gonna turn and turn my head and actually turn my eyes. This is called hide the flowers beneath the leaves. Lean on the horse to inquire the way. Hide the flower beneath the leaves. The next movement is called the wild goose leaves the flock. I'm going to turn back to the left, and as I turn to the left, I'm going to drill my right hand. Now I'm going to bring my left arm up. It's the crook of my left arm is going to touch the outside of my right arm. They're in contact, and my palms are facing me, and this left hand is coming slightly up. When that right set of fingers loses contact, that's going to be my signal to drop into the guard. So I'm going to turn to the left and drill the right hand or the top hand. I'm turning to the left, pivoting on my left toe, left hand coming up, drop into the guard. This is called the wild goose leaves the flock. So it's like a flock of geese and then one of them leaves. Your top hand, index finger, is either nose height or third eye height. Bottom hand, index finger, points to the elbow. And that's just one way, one of many ways to shut out the center line. And that being, that being the center line, that part of the center line I want to shut out. I've got no weight in my left foot, the foot that pivoted out, and that's going to be the first one I take a step with. So I'm going to come around the corner here a little bit so I can take a few steps. Lean on the horse to inquire the way. Hide the flower beneath the leaves. The wild goose leaves the flock. And then I'm going to take eight steps. Um, what I'm going to do right now, though, is only take seven for you. I'm just going to walk the circle. I'm going to push off my back leg and start my first step with my inside foot, which is the left. So I'm going to go one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven. Okay, I might come around here more. Lean on the horse to inquire the way. Hide the flower beneath the leaves. Wild goose leaves the flock. And now I'm gonna walk the circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right now when I'm walking, nothing fancy, it's just heel toe. Uh, I basically want to keep my head the same height. I don't want to bob up and down when I'm walking. A really good training is to look through your eye, uh, look through your finger at the, the tree. Or, you know, if you don't have something there, just look at your hand. But it's really nice if you've got something you can focus on. In the first change, when I get to the eighth step, I'm actually going to step into a horse stance. So when we do a stance that is uh, a forward stance, usually the heel lands first. When you have a stance that's sideways, you want your toe to land first. If you land with your heel, it can just be a little hard on your knee and your ankle. But I'm going to step into a horse stance on my seventh, on my eighth step, excuse me, my eighth step. Lean on the horse to inquire the way. Hide the flower beneath the leaves. The wild goose leaves the flock. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more time. Lean on the horse to inquire the way. Hide the flower beneath the leaves. The wild goose leaves the flock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. So when I step on that eighth step, I'm going to go toe, heel, and sit. My top hand is going to turn and be thumb down, and my bottom hand is going to shoot across with the edge of my hand and hit with the, the edge of the right hand or the bottom hand. This is called mount the horse and draw the bow. So that is the eighth step as we, as we count it. On the horse to inquire the way. Hide the flower beneath the leaves. The wild goose leaves the flock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now that eighth step, I'm still I'm still going in the same direction, which right now is counterclockwise. I'm gonna face the, the camera for you. From this mount the horse and, and draw the bow, I'm just going to turn into a bow stance. My top hand is come, going to come down and protect my face. The bottom hand is either going to swing or push. So if it's going to swing, it's going to come right from my shoulder. If it's going to push, it's going to find my hip. And this is called close the door and push the moon. That technique is what changed your direction. Up to this point, you're going uh, counterclockwise. Now you're gonna go clockwise. So from mount the horse and draw the bow, close the door and push the moon. And then from here, step and do hide the flower beneath the leaves. The wild goose leaves the flock and now I'm on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here's mount the horse and draw the bow. Close the door and push the moon. Hide the flower beneath the leaves. The wild goose leaves the flock. Now, if I just want to end, so I've done, so I did two of them. I just want to end, I'm going to take a half step with my left foot, a full step with my right foot, circle my hands out, heels together, and push down. You know, one idea is uh, scoop energy from earth and grab the energy from heaven or the, yeah, the stars 
and push it into the human, uh, heaven, earth, and human, uh, the three powers. It's also the three attributes of a dragon. Uh, my, my teacher, Leon Kei Chi, said, uh, we're, we're Taoists, at least the men are. We're Taoists up on the mountain, and we're done practicing, and we got to tuck our beard back in because our beard's all crazy from being up in the mountains. So what I'm going to do for you now is I'm going to do uh, two of this uh, first poem for you. And I'll do it from a couple of different places around the circle to make sure that you see it. Lean on the horse to inquire the way. Hide the flower beneath the leaves. The wild goose leaves the flock. And walk. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's mount the horse and draw the bow. Close the door and push the moon. Hide the flower beneath the leaves. The wild goose leaves the flock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's mount the horse and draw the bow. Close the door and push the moon. Hide the flower beneath the leaves. The wild goose leaves the flock. And now conclusion. I'm going to try it. Uh, I'm going to try it on the other side for you. Just to give you an idea. So lean on the horse to inquire the way. Hide the flower beneath the leaves. The wild goose leaves the flock. Eight steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Close the door and push the moon. Hide the flower beneath the leaves. The wild goose leaves the flock. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Close the door, push the moon. Hide the flower beneath the leaves. The wild goose leaves the flock, and I'm going to go to the conclusion. If you're having trouble with the timing on mount the horse and draw the bow, you can simply get into the stance and then practice turning your waist, pulling and pushing, giving a little hit with this edge. And then later, that'll all happen at the same time. So your homework is, number one, learn this palm change. And just take your time. Be soft when you're learning it. Start doing it two times, four times. Work your way up to eight times. Um, and then. Uh, Next, you'll see the applications. And that'll give you some idea kind of where to put your intentions as you're doing it. So uh, again, two, four, six, eight uh, uh, repetitions. Go slow. If the low stances are too much, you can do them up high until your legs get used to it. Um, and again, everything, if you're a, a Taiji practitioner, almost all of the Taiji alignments, hips under, tuck your chin, uh, relax your chest. All of those things apply. All right, very good. Okay, so lean on the horse to inquire the way. That can be like a palm strike or a block. So if you if you did like a, a wood punch to my stomach, so I got. Or it could be two blocks. So it could be. And now you do the top hand. Hide the flower beneath the leaves. There's an arm bar. So again, it's like a So if you bend your arm, uh huh, you bend like that, wild goose, I'm going to give you a poke. And it doesn't matter what hand, whatever hand you block up with, I'm going to clear it with the other one. There's the wild goose, leaves the flock. So we could do lock, lock here. Let's just step forward one more foot. Arm bar. This can be a takedown. So you'd be the wild goose. 
leaving the flock. <laughs> or, even if you don't bend it, I can just use this to use this as a tape down. That, that's what that is. Mount the horse and draw the bow can be from the guard. So if you push in at me, so I can mount the horse and draw the bow. Or if you step, I can step out and mount the horse and draw the bow to take you down. If you punch with the right hand, I can close the door and push the move. And then you block down with this hand. Uh -huh. You punch the other hand, here's I can follow the knee. And then conclusion, really simple conclusion is just okay. so that's just the, just your basic, just your basic. And then of course if these holds on really strong and I can't I can't go up, just gonna step off the corner. That should give you a few ideas. So the first sensitivity, same palm. Start with the inside foot, walk eight steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. When you finish the circle walk, you finish with your weight back. Now I'm gonna go in, turn my hands. I'm not gonna lose contact with this one until I touch this one, the bottom one, and I'm gonna drill up. And I'm gonna go off the line of power. I'm gonna end the palm change with my weight forward. Circle walk and backward, back weighted. The sensitivity of the palm change and weight forward. So now I'm going to start my inside foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Turn in, toe in. Ah, you, you, you uh, embrace, touch, up. So that top hand, that's, that's the key to making everything work. The top hand is so close to my face. That's actually the main protector room. Look how far away the bottom hand is. If I'm going to protect my face with the bottom hand, it's too far to go. So say we did our A steps. And she did uh, either a boxing uppercut or a piercing palm from Bagua, or a uh, crossing fist uh, earth punch from Shaheen. When that comes to my chin, this is too slow. So when that, when that comes to my chin, I'm just gonna carry it. And then when I change my guard, that's where I put her off balance. See, that's where I can come in. So, the top hand is the defense, the bottom hand is the control.